I'm back and I'm better. I want you bad as ever. Ain't nobody better. We should be together. Baby, it's whatever. Somebody gotta step up. Oh, baby, no pressure. Hi, guys, and welcome back to my channel. So, I know you're probably seeing the same outfit, the same background, but don't worry, I've been filming more than one video today, it's not me wearing the same outfit. Um, but today I wanted to do another topic on myths and misconceptions about certain things and today's topic is going to be about mental illnesses. I'm very, very passionate about mental illnesses, mental health and I'm definitely one of those people that want to promote and give awareness to mental health because I think it's really, really important. I feel like we should treat um, mental illnesses exactly the same way as physical illnesses. So let's get to it. Mental illnesses are not just your regular ups and downs in life. I feel like it's very, very important to treat physical illnesses in the same way as mental illnesses. Mental illnesses don't always just go away on their own and some of them may actually require treatment or medication. So, you know, if someone broke their leg or their arm, you wouldn't expect someone to just get over it. So I think that it's very, very important to be aware that it is a real illness and there are so many of them out there that definitely require you to seek medical help and advice. Now this is a very, very important thing to consider because I feel like all of us are affected by mental illnesses we're not all exempt from it and what I mean by that is you may not be the one that experiences um, mental illnesses yourself but it could be someone that's a family member a work colleague or you know just anybody that you know that's around you No one factor causes mental illnesses. There can be a variety of mental illnesses that can be very complicated and complex. It could be genetics, it could be biological, life experiences, um, your environment, uh, your surroundings, and it could be a combination of all of those. People can and do recover from mental illnesses. There are so many treatments that are out there. Some people may receive medication, so if you're suffering from depression, they might give you antidepressants, or some people might seek counselling, um, where you speak to a therapist and they do various treatments, such as cognitive behavioural therapy, so it changes the way that you uh, think about things in the way that you see um, certain things. There's so many out there so it's important to understand that people who do suffer from mental illnesses can end up living a productive life and an engaging life. They just have to find out what works for them. Children also can experience mental illnesses that can be depression, anxiety, um, obsessive compulsive disorders, eating disorders and I feel like some of the causes of that can be from social media. Um, we see so many celebrities out there that are trying their best to lose weight and you know some of these people are literally starving themselves to lose weight for photo shoots or for magazines or sometimes it can just be photoshopping and children growing up don't really know the difference between that and they don't actually know the real truth so it's very very good to educate young teenagers or children out there if you're a teenager it's very very good to know this information because unfortunately not many children receive a lot of help and that could be due to the fact that parents don't really know the signs or they're not educated in the way that they should be to look out for these signs i've had young teenagers 
teenagers email me their problems and their dilemmas and they always tell me that it's because they feel like they don't have many people to talk to or they don't have that support system. Now it usually begins with your attitude and behaviours towards mental illnesses. Think about where your information actually comes from. So that could be TV shows, that could be movies, um, news stories, magazine stories. Sometimes they don't actually tell you the real story. A lot of the time they can misconstrue information or they can leave out a lot of information to actually shock you. People do this because it's what sells. If you know someone that's going through something or someone that may have tried to reach out to you, definitely take that seriously. Try to support them in the best way that you can. It doesn't mean that you have to give out professional advice. You could help them to seek advice or if they want to seek advice themselves, you could support them by going with them to a counselling appointment or looking up information about where to seek help from or if you're someone that might be going through something yourself and you don't really know where to go um, and you don't really want to speak to someone close to you about it I will definitely leave a link down below for where you can seek help whether it's counselling or one thing I would advise as well is for you to go to your doctor and tell them about it and that way they can actually refer you to someone more professional. Okay guys thank you so much for watching my myths on mental illnesses. I hope that it was helpful to you. If you have any queries or questions or if you like this video then give it a thumbs up um, and subscribe and I will definitely see you very soon. Bye!